Oh, the rocket. A perfect example of how technology can be used for both war and destruction, but at the same time be used for peace and exploration. You guessed what we're looking at today, with a brief history of the rocket. So let's grab the history book and dive right in. Archidus, a Greek mathematician and astronomer, allegedly created the world's first rocket. It was a little bird attached to a guide rope that was powered by compressed air or steam. These steam rockets weren't used for anything more than show. They weren't really practical for much else. But once gunpowder came about, that changed everything. Allegedly, it was invented by accident when a Chinese man, looking for the elixir of immortality accidentally gave the world the potion for death instead. Originally stuffed into bamboo sticks to be used as fireworks, people started to notice that the bamboo sticks would occasionally take off and fly all over the place. It didn't take long before someone had the idea of attaching these primitive rockets to arrows in order to increase the range and deadliness. There are records that the Chinese used these rockets to help repel Mongol invaders. But thanks in part to those same Mongol invaders, rocket technology was spread all throughout Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. In 1267, an English man named Roger Bacon and did experiments with gunpowder and further refined the formula, making rockets even deadlier and increasing their range. We also see books printed detailing just how you make rockets appearing all throughout the century. One notable example being the complete art of artillery, which was translated into several different languages and printed in several different countries. Sir William Congrave would further advance rocket technology with his Congrave rocket. He created anti-personnel rockets that would shower enemies with iron shrapnel, as well as incendiary rockets that would ignite fires on other ships. These rockets had a range of around 6,000 yards and would be used in several British conflicts, most noteworthy of which was the War of 1812 against the United States, where the British reached the capital city and burned several key buildings including the White House. In 1926, Robert Goddard would create and test fly the world's first liquid-fueled rocket. Although it only reached around 12.5 meters, it was a start of rockets being fueled by liquids. However, the townsfolk decided they didn't really appreciate being ground zero for rocket testing and requested him to move his experiments. Robert complied and continued testing his rocket in the Nevada desert near Roswell, New Mexico. There he would develop a gyroscope system to help control his rocket, along with multi-stage rockets to help them fly further, and a parachute recovery system. These advancements would be instrumental if humans were ever to reach space. Goddard is often said to have ushered the space age to man, and is commonly referred to as the father of modern day rocketry. But as we all know too well, rockets are not just used for exploration. During World War II, Nazi Germany developed the Vergeltumswaffe II, commonly referred to as the V-2 rocket. This was the world's first guided long-range ballistic missile. Germany launched around 3,000 of these rockets and started to decimate London along with other heavily populated areas. The British government tried to cover up the existence of these rockets by saying the explosions were caused by faulty gas mains, and these rockets were referred to as flying gas pipes by the British people. In response to these rockets, the British started releasing falsified reports that the Germans were overshooting London by about 15 to 20 miles into newspapers. German spies reported this back to Germany, causing Germany to readjust their aim and to actually miss London for the remainder of the war. At the end of World War II, many German scientists would turn themselves over to both America and and Russia, and the uneasy peace of the Cold War would begin. On October 4th, 1957, Soviet Russia launched the first satellite Sputnik 1 into orbit and officially began the space race. During the space race, both sides would have to build bigger and better rockets to outdo the other. But unfortunately, this also included rockets that were intended to be used in war, and the ICBM, or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, was developed. These missiles could deliver their deadly payload from halfway around the world. As the Cold War progressed, thankfully the only rockets that got to see any action were the ones used for exploration. In 1967, the Saturn V rocket, at an impressive 363 feet tall, with over 3 million individual parts, was created in part by the same man who helped Nazi Germany create the V-2 rocket. Dr. Warner von Braun was launched for the first time, and two years later, in 1967, it would be launched again, but this time, to land man on the moon. As rocket technology advances, we can only hope that they continue to carry man into new frontiers, and not into obliteration. They started as early Chinese toys, and developed into some of the most complex machines mankind has ever created. But hey, that does it for this episode. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you really liked the video, please consider showing your support by subscribing. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and would hate for you to miss out on new content. If you have an idea for a video, please leave it in the comments of this video or over on the channel discussion page. And as always, please enjoy the rest of your internet going experience.